Good morning, good afternoon, good evening YouTube. It's James here doing a survival let's play and we are in the Never, a vision of hell. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Oceans of lava, caves that are difficult to get over to, oh the whole thing is a cave. We've got zombie pigmen, there are floating things out there called ghasts which are not friendly. Fires that burn perpetually. New ores such as quartz ore, let's have a look at that. Nice. Magma blocks, there are structures here to um, have a look at. There's um, wither skeletons that we've not even seen before. Uh, there's all sorts of things in here. It is a very hostile environment. And I'm gonna show you how you get here. So guys, this is how we're going to begin today. Don't mind me, I'm just on a length of blocks which is going to be uh, removed and I'm measuring out the land that I'm living on in order to um, rejig my um, my farming area. As you can see, um, the um, shed is gone. Bye bye shed, it was lovely knowing you. And I'm now on to my second base, my house. I've got a little chicken and I think I fed him so he won't despawn. So. What we're going to need to do today in order to get into the position we were in in the intro is we're going to have to have a look at what tools we need. I've got a music disc, I'll explain about them in another episode. I've got a bit more scrap armour, which is good. Uh, not going to need a clock where we're going, I'll keep hold of that. I'm going to need some food, have I got food? That's good. One stack of that, get rid of some ladders. I might need that, I don't need two, uh, and that's good. The next thing I want to do is locate my diamond pickaxe because I'm going to need it. I don't quite know where it is. R ah, diamond pickaxe. Next thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need a suitable bow. You look good. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of light repair work. Don't worry, later on in the game we're going to showcase everything to do with repairing things. Because there's various ways of getting it done. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little mild cough today. Right, okay. This has been around since the dawn of Minecraft's crafting ability. You take two um, um, pieces of equipment that are identical. Merge them together, and you're going to get a combination of both of the health bars plus an additional 5% bonus. There we go. So that is now a little bit more repaired, and that'll do. And we're going to have to check to see if we've picked up any arrows as well, because there's no point having a bow without arrows. I've got seven arrows. That, that'll do me just for a bit of basic self-defense. 13's a bit better. That'll do me. So that's 20. 22 arrows. Now we're looking like we can defend ourselves. Right, 40. Ah, lovely. Uh, I'm not going to be dumb enough to take all of them into the nether. I'm going to die if, I, uh, if I'm not careful in the nether. Right, okay, so what else do we need? I'm going to need some obsidian. We'll take you. I'm going to need a bucket of water. We have a bucket. And then what else are we going to need? I would like, if possible... Yeah, I'd like some cobblestone and some gravel would be a good idea. I'd like a stack of gravel. So, the reason why we're taking cobblestone is to defend ourselves by building a shelter in the nether. And we're taking gravel because sometimes it's very difficult to navigate. And then what we can do is we can put gravel on the side of a ledge and it can fall down to the bottom of the uh, arena in the nether. And we can pillar up uh, in order to... Uh, begin navigating up and down. I'll explain later on. Right, so we just need one last thing to do. So I'm going to do a, where is my exit? <laughs> Got a house that big, I don't know my way out and it's only a small house. As you can see, I'm putting down torches to mark out land. I am going to be um, creating quite a nice little base for myself. Right. I'm going to quickly, no we're not, oh I nearly forgot something. I always forget this. I need, I need, oh, what's attacking me? Something just a, took a lump out of me. Don't think I have a sword, so I'll have to use my pickaxe. It's been my strongest hitting tool at the moment. It's a phantom. I don't know if I've introduced you to phantoms, but if you're failing to sleep in a bed, these things are going to swoop down and 
attack you. And they are taking some lumps out of me, so I'm going below ground. Easiest way to get rid of them, wait till daylight. Or what you can do is you can um, sleep in a bed, providing they're not nearby. Sleeping in a bed will remove the effect. Um, but, um, what is it? Waiting while daylight is going to stop them attacking you during the day. Now, I just have to find out where I am. I'm going to have some of this gravel. I just have to find out where I am in my cave in order to get some gravel. And if I have to, I will cut that out of the video in the editing phase. I'll just uh, manoeuvring around. And, oh, iron ore. Let's have that while we're here. Not really in the market for iron ore today, but whatever. If we get a quite a surplus of iron, we can begin doing some strange and wonderful things with it, rather than just building tools and armour. There's a whole sleuth of gadgetry that you can buy. Sleuth? Sleuth? Slew? Slew of gadgetry that you could craft. Sorry, my head's a bit of a shed. In my personal life, I have been very busy and also very tired. Woo! Spider. Hello, spider. Walking string bush. <laughs> well, I'm finding lots of iron ore down here, but I'm not finding what I'm after. <sighs> oh, well. We will keep persevering. There should be lava somewhere. I mean, I'm deep down. Not as deep as I could be, but... <clears throat> just wondering if I'm doing any of this correctly. I might just have to dig all the way down with my diamond pickaxe and... Oh, more iron on. Welcome to How to Mine Random Bits of Rubbish with James Keeling. Episode whatever. Don't worry, I will... Oh, oh lava. Exactly what I'm after. Walking string bush! Do not die in the lava. I want your string. You die by my hands. Thank you. Ever so kind. A wonderful person. Sp spider thing. Farewell, Aragog. Though your body will decay, your spirit will linger on. Right. Sorry. Uh, my girlfriend has been introducing me to Harry Potter, which... Uh, I can't stand and I can't tell you why, but I think enough exposure to it has just made me go, what the hell, it's not actually that bad. Right, okay. What we need to do is we need to harvest some obsidian. So we need to turn the lava into obsidian and hoover that back up. And then we need to find a suitable spot. And what we need to do is we need to have a look. We've got efficiency one, so it should take less than 10 seconds to mine each block. Got to beware when you're mining, but there might be uh, another layer of lava underneath. Where I'm stood right now, I'm going to fall on the smooth block stone behind me. I say smooth stone, the stone behind me. And we need a bare minimum of 10 blocks. Now, we had one in us adventuring. We can see what we're mining in as hot bar, so we've got four. Five. This process can be speeded up by enchanting your diamond pickaxes with um, more efficiency. By the way, you can enchant any um, grade of weaponry or tool. I just prefer diamonds because they have such a long lifespan um, before they shatter. Mm. Just taking a sip of my tea. I just realised that even though I can mine on the spot, I can't move right now. I love cups of tea. Keeps me going. Winston Churchill, back in our Britain's World War II days, he said that the only way we would win the war was with cups of tea. However, I never saw any, like, weird cups of tea guns or super soakers full of tea uh, being used at um, our uh, enemies at the times. Anyway. Many people venerate Churchill, but if you have a look at his actual history, he made as many blunders as he made successes. So, I don't know, you go research the man and I don't care. So I'm just going to have a, a nosy peek through here and realise there was nothing of value down there. There's probably diamonds right behind that wall, but never mind. Right. Oh, gold ore. Oh, right, water. I'm not fond of water. Ah. Bit stuck. Just have a sneaky peek down here. 
Got a fly buzzing round. It's annoying me. Go away, fly. Diamond door! Yay! I'm not going to pick this up because I'm on a single-player game and there is an enchantment for my diamond pickaxe, well, for any pickaxe, called Fortune. I want Fortune free. What it does is, if we mine these diamonds right now, I'll get one diamond per ore block. But if I do it with Fortune, there is a chance I'll get one diamond or two diamonds or three diamonds per block. I'm not sure if you could get four diamonds per block with Fortune free, but, you know, that's the way it goes. And diamonds are quite a rare resource, so... What you can do is, if your device allows you, you can take a screenshot of where you are, providing your coordinates are on screen like mine are, which is why I always put them on screen. Uh, coincidentally, when you die, it instantly takes the coordinates off screen, which is not good for business. And, right, I'll just do a bit of mining, have a look at that mobile string farm. Right, guys, I'll come back to these at some point. Um, but through the magic of editing, I'm going to magically appear at my base. Um, yeah, I think we'll go for not my home, uh, but what I call the world hub, which is in the centre of the world. I will see you in a second. Okay, guys, here I am. I'm back at my base. Well, the world hub, as I call it. Let's get into first person mode. Um, not much has changed about the world hub, apart from I've got a floor now. And I'm still doing off the uh, 9x9 template. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I'll be having, like, that's what I work with. The aim of the game there is so that when you've got uh, walls in a, uh, in a place this small, or this large, you can put torches on the um, walls and you don't have to put them on the floors. So anyway, let's get rid of that. There we go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put down a nether portal, which is going to look in a certain shape now it used to be that it had to be the internal area used to be two across and then it would be free up uh, but I think you can have them um, any size now larger than the one I'm going to do now whoops I put that in the wrong place so that's another two and then I'm gonna put some now you can make the entire thing out of obsidian if you want but uh, that would cost you 14 blocks but all you need to do is make sure that the inner surface um, surfaces of this oh nearly fell to my death for lack of a better word ring or oblong the inner surfaces are going to be uh, made of obsidian and that's how we're going to get it to work all right so we built our portal and i've just realized one vital element is missing i need a piece of equipment called a flint and steel now i might be able to oh shit pardon Apologies, I just swore. I tried to keep swearing out of my videos, but uh, occasionally it happens. Just ignore that. If you're a young child, you didn't hear that. Uh... Right, let's see. A piece of flint? Yes. And a piece of iron? Yes. We can create a flint and steel. You can create this on the go, or you can do what I do, which is go to the nearest crafting grid. And a flint and steel is a brilliant uh, tool. It's got a durability bar and eventually breaks, and it allows you to set fire to just about anything. So we may set fire to things. And one thing that it allows you to do is it allows you to um, um, have a look at making a portal. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to hell. Let's go to hell. Oh God, I feel sick. Hang on, and here we are. So, oh, it's just building the nether for the first time. And um, let's just have a look around. We look pretty safe. There's no hostile entities around. So, this is not the same portal. This is like Stargate, if you've ever watched that. You've got Stargate on Earth, and you've got Stargate on another world, and what you've done is you've just basically, uh, actually, oh, hang on a minute, I have to avoid that thing that I just saw over here. Uh, you just basically dialed yourself uh, to the nearest portal in the Nether. If there isn't a portal nearby, the game creates one for you. This is a ghast. This is another ghast. They're nasty. All you have to do is use your left hand shoulder button. Oh, 
to use your bow. And if it's going to fire, throw a fireball at you, use your right hand to bat it back. The fireballs can do damage to the land that I'm on. Doesn't seem to know that in there, but it's facing me. And they drop experience, they drop gunpowder and something very rare called a ghast tear. Welcome to the nether. Right then. I just did a slight break to do the intro that you saw in the beginning of the video. And um, let's see what we can see. Now, one of the first things that we need to do is we need to defend this portal. Not the portal frame that's made of obsidian, but the portal itself. Because if a ghast um, attacks it with a fireball and takes it out, then we need a flint and steel to reactivate it. And knowing me, I will not have a flint and steel because I can be a bit of an idiot on this game. The amount of times I've gone exploring without any food, the amount of times I've gone on an adventure without the right equipment. So we're just gonna like put down some cobblestone. We can replace this later with something much better. And I bet you what, I've just run out of cobblestone. No, I've got another stack and a half. Good, good, good. So we're just gonna do that. And what we want to make sure is that um, a ghast just can't see us. If a ghast can see us, it can throw fireballs. If it can't, it won't. Okay. Excuse me. Just burped. Okay, so we'll do a bit more around this side. That's good. That's good. That's good. We will make this better. Now, what we have to do is we have a look at this side of the portal and realise that not much round here can spawn in the way of gas and attackers from this side, so we don't have to do it with that. All right, Quartzor. Quartzor is good. It's uh, only... Um, it only happens in the nether. You can only find it in the nether, I mean. Uh, you're going to get uh, approximately double the amount of experience that you'd get for mining any other ore. But just be careful when you mine into... Um, walls here because there are pockets of lava in these walls we're not talking like little um, lava beds um, like in the overworld we're talking fast flowing poc pockets of lava and if you don't run it'll pour all over your head and it'll hurt you right so sorry just got a notification on my tablet things are very active today this uh, stone that I'm on is called neverack think of it as like bloody cobblestone it's uh, very soft compared with cobblestone, so a ghast can hurt, harm it. So what I want to do is I want to just replace that there. So you could be standing on a thin ledge of um, Neverack and all of a sudden the ghast comes along and blows a hole in it and you fall down the hole and that's the end of you. Right then, what we want to do is we want to have a look at gravel. Got 64 of that. Right, and this is how I use gravel in the Never. Hold your sneak button. Well, you don't have to on console, just press it. Aim for the edge, and here we go. And what we're doing is we're just creating a column of gravel. Here we go. Over there is a magma cube. We'll have a look at that in more detail. Bearing in mind, magma cubes are dangerous. They can cause you a lot of health damage, especially on hard mode, which is what I'm on. So I'm going to have some bread. <laughs> There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start mining up the gravel. Until you've got yourself uh, some better ways of getting around than ever, like ladders and tubes and stuff and bridges that you may have created. This is a very cheap and effective way of getting around than ever. The only problem with this is you're vulnerable to being attacked by ghasts. Right, I'm going to take this guy down with a pickaxe, am I? I'm going to do it with a bow and arrow. He knows I'm here. Just try and take as much off him as possible before he engages me in combat, and he splits. This is why um, they are so dangerous. They can all do quite a bit of damage to me. So this actually isn't going as badly as I thought. Whoa! Okay. This is uh, not good, and I keep on punching holes in the floor as I'm trying to uh, attack. Right, they drop XP, and they drop this, which is a magma cream. Magma creams are great um, for uh, creating potions. And this is one of the reasons why we're here. We want potion making abilities. Uh, this is a magma block. Uh, if I'm sneaking on it, I'm fine. If I'm not, I'm going to start taking health damage. So that is useful for quite a few things. You can find magma blocks in the overworld, but um, they were first created in the nether, you know, by the developers of the game. So do a bit more mining of that. 
So what you might want for a basic maneuver is you might want a, a safe place to call home, just like in um, the overworld that mobs can't get into. Um, you want somewhere which can't be attacked by things that launch fireballs. This is soul sand. That's useful for things, but we'll go into it later. It's a growing medium for Neverwalt. Uh, you want to make sure that when you're mining that you're being careful, because not being careful results in health damage or falling in lava. Um, lava runs incredibly fast in this game, and it doesn't run for three blocks, it runs for eight blocks like water, so just consider it just fiery water of death. You always want to bring yourself some... Um, a stack of blocks that you can just afford to lose any old way and lava does like to uh, flow all over the place when you start messing with it so there we go that makes me able to cross there now before I end the video I'm going to show you another mob which is common these can be a pain in the backside this is a zombie pigman they come in two variations you've got the adult, adult form here we go and you've got the baby form Right, so they don't care about me. They might look at me, but we're gonna wander around, we're gonna make this weird grunting noises. But if I attack one, which I'm not gonna demonstrate now, they will let out a battle cry and all other zombie pigmen within a 16 block radius will start running towards me and they'll gang up on me. Um, there's a larger radius where zombie pigmen have heard of a battle cry, know that you're hostile, but won't run towards you. It's as if, you know, they just don't know where you are outside of 16 blocks range. Right then, what we'll do is we will uh, potter about in the nether. Oh, this is glowstone. I like the texture change that we've done recently. Glowstone is a light emitting block. Unlike torches, it emits a light level of 15 right next to it, not 14. And it's useful to have. If you're going to mine it, you might want to use a silt touch enchanted pickaxe because it takes four of them. Oh, I got four. It takes four of them in order to, uh, four glowstone dust to make a block. And um, sometimes you only get three, so if you're going to mine 20 blocks, you might get like 16, 17 of them uh, blocks worth of dust back. So I'm going to do a little bit more mining. Here we go. Get up to that magical level 30 for enchanting. This is why dying in Minecraft gets increasingly expensive. You start off with wooden tools, then you get... Uh, Iron tools, then you get your diamond tools, then you're busy enchanting them. Um, you get up to 30 levels of experience that you have to really keep on you if you're gonna, if you're gonna uh, be uh, enchanting. It just really does become an interesting time, avoiding not uh, avoiding dying. Right, so we're going to go back up to our portal, and we're gonna end the video here. As usual, don't forget to leave us a like, share, and a subscribe, guys. I never usually put like, share, and subscribe on my videos, because I always forget. And uh, I will be thinking of another video shortly in order to show you another aspect of Minecraft. Be careful when you're, um, when you're exploring the Nether. Not everything works as you'd expect. I'd advise everybody to get on the official Minecraft wiki to uh, um, um, have a look at how things work. And I'll be explaining more about the Nether in a future video. Bye bye for now everybody. Have fun.